Okay, we have here today another interesting integral from the MIT integration meet from 2024. This one's problem 20. We have the integral from one to three of this kind of infinitely repeating expression, dx. Okay, whenever you come across like an infinitely nested radical or some kind of like infinitely repeated expression, it's kind of hard to look at. It's kind of hard to picture what's going on. And I really don't know how to integrate it. We can't just go ahead and like make a u substitution on this. It's really hard to deal with in this form. So what I want to do is actually look at this whole expression. I really want to transform this into something else, something that we can integrate. So I'm going to kind of just label this. Let's just label the whole integral y. And now the thing about this, you'll notice this infinitely repeating part, this right here in the denominator, this is exactly the same as this piece here. But if you look at either of these, you notice it has this structure where we have, it starts off with x over 1, just like we have x over 1 here, and we're adding the same thing. Well, it turns out that what we have circled here, this is exactly the same thing as our y. So what this allows me to do is just kind of rewrite this thing, our whole expression, the thing we want to transform, we're calling y. But then the numerator just becomes x plus y, and the denominator becomes 1 plus y. And then my goal is just going to be to solve, we just want to solve for y. We just want to isolate y and solve for that all in terms of x, and then we can plug it back into the integral, and hopefully that's something we can deal with. So what I'll do here is just kind of cross multiply, kind of creating a 1 right there. So if we multiply y times 1 plus y, we're going to have y plus y squared on the left side. And then 1 times x plus y, we'll have just x plus y here. But then I can subtract the y on both sides. So that's gone and that's gone. And so we just have y squared equal to x. I'll take a square root on both sides here. So that's going to isolate my y. And so we have here y is equal to plus or minus square root of x. And then at this point, I don't really want plus or minus here. We'd like to get rid of that. I can just kind of, let's just notice our bounds. We're going from one to three. That helps us with the radical, right? We know we're never gonna have a negative value in there, so that's good. But also, if we notice that our x value is always positive, there's no way to ever get a negative value in this expression. So there's no way that our y value can ever be negative. It always has to be the positive. So we can just get rid of this and we can say our y value is equal to square root of x. But again, the y is the thing we wanted to find, so we can just take square root of x, put it back in our integral, and finish it off. Okay, so now that we determined this whole crazy thing is just square root of x, we can just do this using power rule. I'll just rewrite it really quick though to make it clear. So I'll write this as x to the 1 half dx. We'll do power rule, add a plus 1 there. So this is going to become x to the 3 halves, take the reciprocal 2 thirds in front, and we need to evaluate this from 1 to 3. I'll take two-thirds in front, then plugging in three, we're going to have three to the three-halves minus plugging in one, that's just going to be one. But now for three to the three-halves, let's just simplify that really quick. I could write it as the square root of three cubed, which is 27, which is the square root of 27, which I could break up like the square root of nine times three, but we know the square root of nine is going to be three, so I can write this as three square root of three. So let's just put this back two thirds and we'll write this in here as three squared of three minus one. But then we distribute in our two thirds, the threes are gonna cancel and we have two times squared of three for the first term. And then two thirds times minus one, we just get a minus two thirds. So for my final solution to this, we just have two times the square root of three minus two thirds. Okay, there you have it. Good one from MIT 2024. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.